Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of the video on using reflectors. So here we are at the beautiful town green. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, the sun sets now about 8.30, so the sun is not real low in the horizon, but we're gonna work with what we have. We do have some beautiful backlighting and side lighting uh, to show you um, how we'll use the reflectors with those. We have our beautiful model, Eden, and she's gonna be working with us for the next five or 10 minutes. So the first reflector I'm gonna show you is the simple foam core. In it's just a piece of foam core. It's not the insulation, it's just the foam core. So Eden, I'm gonna have you face me. So her back is to the sun. She's being backlit. The best way to use a reflector if you're taking a close up is to have the reflector about waist level at about a 45 degree angle to the face. So I can already see what this is doing is the sunlight is reflected and off this whiteboard and reflecting back into Eden's face. And I can see the beautiful catch lights in her eyes. I'm shooting on aperture priority at f4.0 because I have the, uh, a building in the background. I'm not interested in capturing all the details of the building. One, two, three, beautiful. Okay, let's try this at a little bit more of an angle, kind of like that. One, two, three. Okay, so that's basically it with a piece of white foam core. Uh, next, we're gonna show you how to use the white foam core insulation. This is Jennifer, my assistant. She's actually doing the videotaping, so she's, good, she's running in and out of this video. So the white foam core insulation has two sides. We have a white side and we have a silver side. And this time we're gonna have Eden stand towards the camera. Now she's being side lit. The sun is over here. You can see one side of her face is illuminated and one side is in shadow. This is called a split lighting. Now what the reflector will do is it will fill in the shadow side of her face and will give a very flattering lighting effect and it's called flat lighting, which is used a lot in fashion. So let's go ahead and try the white side first. Now go ahead and pull the hair behind your ears so we don't have the shadow of your hair on your face. Okay, so can you, you guys can probably see how effectively that is filling in the shadow side of her face. Beautiful. Now that's the white side. Next we're gonna use the silver side. And the, <laughs> the silver side is going to reflect a lot more. It's a lot hotter. It also adds what they call specular highlights. So do you feel the difference? Oh yeah, I feel she it. She feels the difference. All right, that's beautiful. One, two, three. Okay, so that's basically how you use the silver and white reflector, the foam core insulation. Next, we're going to use the fold-up reflector. And again, these can be purchased just about anywhere on the internet. You can buy them at B&H, on Amazon. Um, they generally run somewhere between maybe $30 to maybe $100. I probably got the, the cheaper one because I don't like to spend a lot of money. So what we're gonna do this time is I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use the reflector to actually reflect light back onto the highlight side of the face. Yes, I did say that correctly, the highlight side of the face. And the reason that you do this is so that you can sculpt the, so you can sculpt the light. This is called a modeling light, and it is really more effective for portraits than flat lighting. What this will do is will increase the ratio so this side will be brighter and this side will be more in shadow. But generally what I like to do is I like to turn the model's face a little bit towards the light so we have this part of the face in light and just a little bit of the jawline is in shadow. And I'm gonna have you look at me. One, two, three. And that's beautiful. Okay, lastly, we're gonna show you how to use my favorite reflector, the one with the big hole in the middle. Now I do have to take off my lens hood because my lens won't fit through the hole. So what side are we gonna use you guys, the silver or the white? Silver. Okay, silver it is. So I'm gonna have Jennifer hold it up. Again, we're uh, using backlighting and the sunlight is going to bounce off the silver side of this and bounce the light back into her face. I've got, see beautiful catch lights in her eyes. That's beautiful. Okay, let's see if we can move it a little bit closer to her. Oh, that's beautiful. I see more of a catch light in her eyes the closer it is. And because she's backlit, she has the beautiful um, highlights in her hair. I call this the golden sun goddess look. So today, <laughs> you're my golden sun goddess today. <laughs> Next, we're gonna use the white side. 
and we'll see the difference with the white side. How does this feel to you, Eden? Does this feel a little bit different? It's brighter. Okay. It's brighter than the silver side? Okay. Now I do see uh, catch lights in her eye again. I see beautiful white catch lights in her eyes. I'm going to move back just a little bit. Okay, well we've got the wind blowing. We have everything to our advantage right now. Right now, The sun is out. It's not too hot. We have the wind blowing Eden's hair, so we couldn't ask for much more. So that's basically it. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use reflectors with natural light. And we'll see you back here for the next video. Thank you.